Hey, what's up? It's me again. The continuum of, of the blog, video blog. Now, the day Brett was really leaving the manager, I mean, Brett is the manager, was the manager. The day of his departure, in other words, the last, his last day on 6th Central. In the morning, they throw a party for him. People come in, everybody sign a big uh, a sheet or whatever of paper, you know, sign everything. He was taking that with him. Everyone signed, well, we're going to miss you. Uh, every member, the staff, everyone, and uh, a woman named Nancy, the nurse coordinator, that was the first time he came to 6th Central. The first time she came in, she saw me, she peeled, I mean, she's been doing that. That's why I stopped the, uh, the uh, overtime. I had never done anything to Nancy. But for some reason, she had her own public, she has, you know, I don't know, she's very abrasive. Many times I put my name for overtime. She would call me at 5 a.m. in the morning. This is what she used to say. Pick up the phone. Hi, Jeanette, this is Nancy. I don't need you. Just like that. I mean, she has no professional courtesy. It's just an overtime. The money wasn't coming from her pocket, but she was so abrasive, and they are—they have—they are, they are filled, so filled with hatred and animosity toward me. And she felt that you know, it, it's like she was waiting. She's been waiting to say that, Jeanette, I don't need you, just for the overtime. Although other people who are in the same position, you know, as her, usually call. Well, Jeanette, you know what? I, I'm not going to need you today. Oh, Jeanette, I'm okay for today. No one has ever said, well, Jeanette, this is uh, so-and-so. I don't need you. Okay. So now the day, and from that point on, I'm like, you know what? I don't even want to be bothered. I stopped the freaking overtime because I didn't need that. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't need to hear her the, the, the voice. She had no professional courtesy. I don't even know exactly what degree does she have because I'm, I'm not sure which school, well, uh, uh, I mean, does she have an associate, a master, a PhD? She doesn't sound like someone who never been to school. She has no home training. She's very abrasive. It's like she just, she was hired before the uh, resume was required. So I'm thinking, what kind of degree she has? Because she sounded so abrasive. It's either she's living with wolves. Because, I mean, you can tell when someone is not at peace. And that's her, a lot of them on the unit, basically. In any case, the day Brett was leaving, she showed up. As usual, she saw me, she just peeled back uh, the top of you know, her upper lip. That's what she's been doing to me. If I, when I used to go downstairs to see Patty or to pick up my check, and I, when I would say, well, good morning, Nancy, good morning, Jeanette, but the, the, the top of her lip would peel back like a, like a, a pit bull or a Rottweiler when they're ready to attack somebody. That's the, the, the only, but I've never seen anyone done that before. But she's basically, that's, that was her way to show me that she was angry at something. I don't know. I mean, she had, she had you know, I have, I, anyway, I don't know. I don't want to know. I don't, even, I, don't even, I don't even give a damn. I mean, I never really cared why she did what she did. But I always, I'm like, what the hell is wrong with the lips? You know what I'm saying? Whenever she saw me, whenever she used to see me, the first thing she would just peel back. I, I, I couldn't even do what she had done. Right away, her, the top of her lip would, would peel back and would show her, uh, her, her front teeth. In any case, that day she came in, the, she came downstairs about 2 o'clock, and the exact same way she saw me, and the top of her lip peeled back, I didn't even bother to, uh, I mean, I didn't even worry about her. So uh, after they were gone, and we was supposed to evaluate everyone, every single employee, before leaving. And I was the la very last person he evaluated. And that was that because, you know what, that was prearranged by his boss and the woman with human resources. Because they wanted to know, if there was, they wanted to find something toward the end to put on my record. There was nothing because I didn't do anything. So before he left, I was, like I said, I was the last employee he evaluated. Just minutes before he said goodbye. He called me, called me and said, Jeanette, okay, it's time for, for your evaluation. It was like almost, it was like 5 o'clock. And I'm like, okay. When I entered his office, you know, we discussed whatever, but right away he sounded professional. He wasn't laughing, he was not smiling, he was very serious. 
And he said to me, well, Jeanette, um, you know, uh, the picture that you sent me and the thing that you said, I'm like, yeah. So well, I'm going to have to give you a, a issue, a warning. I'm like, Ooh, whatever. At that time, I didn't really care. He issued a warning to me because I sent him two headshots and I said, as you take a leap of faith, I wish you luck in your, in your endeavor. And I got a warning for that. No. That is what his boss wanted him to do because they wanted to continue the chaos when the next manager came to office. And also he said, uh, I'm like, oh, you give me a warning? I'm like, okay. Number one, there, was, there, was, there, was a man, there were many reasons for the warning. They didn't want me to transfer to a different unit. They wanted me to remain on 6th Central until I get terminated. Because if you have a warning, you can transfer to a different unit after six, I mean, for six months. That's what they wanted him to do. And he did it because he is a follower. Number two, and uh, the second one, I mean, what he basically, in the comment section of the warning, and he, he said, I had never participated in staff activities. I said, what? There was, he had nothing to say. There was nothing really. They, and they wanted him. The next director wanted him to, to, you know, to put something on my record so the next manager could continue harassing me. And that's what, exactly what had happened. Because, and, and, be, and what he also said, well, uh, Jeanette, you're going to need improvement. First of all, I was not qualified for any pay raise, which I said before. When he reevaluated me, I wasn't getting a pay raise, and that's number one. Number two, uh, the next manager was supposed to meet with me according to what he, according, according to his recommendation, the next manager was supposed to meet with me and, and every week, every other week or every month, I'm not, I don't remember. And I said, for what? Well, to make sure that you are in pool. That is what his boss suggested that he did, he did. Because they want, they, they, they want it for the, they, okay, let me stop. They wanted the harassment to continue into the next manager. So he left recommendation for me to meet with the second one. And then he said, I never participated in staff um, uh, activities, which was totally untrue. I was always giving them money whenever there was, they, 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 I, 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 I always contributed to everything that had happened on the unit. Everything, that, if it was somebody lost their mother, I was giving money. If someone, a family, I was always giving money for everything. And I was always, I don't understand exactly why he said what he I said. But you know what? I didn't give a damn because I knew for a fact Paddy was behind it. He didn't take it upon himself to do that because the man was trying to get to his lover. But that's what they wanted because Paddy wanted to continue the chaos, the drama, the, the harassment until I was a, I would, they were able to find a way to terminate me. And they did. So what? What happened? Life will go on. And anyone who submitted a resume to get a job can also get terminated. New York Presbyterian does not belong to anyone. People contributed money, donators like People like Leona Hensley. You know what I'm saying? People donated money. Greenberg, Raymond Greenberg. A lot of, I mean, like the wealthiest people on the planet have donated money to basically, you know, keep, keep preserve the prestige of the Upper East Side or wherever else. It is a, it's a large organization with 19,000 employees, according to uh, Rachel, the human resources uh, representative. But, but so what? When NSA came in, and then the, in my next video, because that's it for, for, for Brett. Brett is now gone. But before he left, he promised to give me any reference, Jeanette, I will give you any reference. You just have them call me. Oh my God, Jeanette, can you imagine? I could be talking about you for hours. 
and, and within 24 hours, he turned against me in a big way. He made a total 180. That was cool, too, because I never really fully trusted him. I liked and respect him because of what he had done. He basically cared for the patients. Yes, he did. He was a very nice individual, always. And we had a good time, and that was good enough for me. So now, on my next video, we will talk about Elsa. Now, everything was gone. Bread is gone. I got my warning. No ferries. He left. Now, Elsa is coming. I did see him. I did see Elsa in his office, but I didn't see. I didn't really think she was going to be the manager because she didn't look like. She didn't look like. I mean, she didn't strike me as a manager. But guess what? Anything is possible on 6th Central. Whatever they want. I mean, Patty was behind in 100%, and they retrained her. She was coached. She was. She got dressed. I mean, she she dressed. You know, she came up dressing like a lady compared to the first day I saw her, and that was that was it. And now, in my next video for real, 2010 April. This is what's gonna be. This this is what I'm gonna be blogging about. And it is so juicy, you guys don't want to miss it. Okay? My next video is Ensa. The beginning of Ensa. Alright? So, stay... Stay tuned. Alright? Like I said, I promised to complete 2009 and the beginning of 2010. So now, we, we wrap up Brett. The first manager, the one who hired me, he's gone. Alright? So now, I'm going to start dealing with the new one, and then as, no, as of next week, we're going to start talking about the beginning of ENSA. Until next time, take care.